Okay, welcome to this tutorial to learn how to increase uh, your Galaxy Y internal memory. Actually, it's not increasing the internal memory. It's called the second partition. Uh, so uh, I'm using uh, Hyperion 8, but you can use it on a stock ROM or uh, on any ROM else or kernel. First, head to the recovery. You know, power off your phone first. Okay, then the combination. Okay, uh, the combination, you know, <coughs> the volume up and the power button and the menu button. Okay, you have to press them all together. But suddenly you have here the vibration, then the volume up and menu button and the power button all together. It's a combination to open the mobile recovery mode. Okay. And here's the, the apply update from SD card. Choose it from the Android system recovery. This is the stock recovery. Then head to CMW made team. Clockwork mod. Zip. Okay. Then head to mounts and storage. And make sure <coughs> that the SD card is mounted. It have to uh, it, it have to write next to it uh, unmount. That means that the SD card is mounted here. Mount, unmount SD card. That means that it's mounted. Then go back and hit to advanced here. Okay, pressing the advanced. We're gonna the last. One, the one before the last, partition SD card here. You can choose partition SD card. I already have a partition, so I'm gonna just uh, let you know what to do. But first, you have uh, to put all your uh, <coughs> SD card uh, contents on your on your computer because partition will gonna for format the SD card all uh, from all uh, its contents, music and photos, and uh, everything. Okay. And uh, the second, uh, the second thing you have to take sure that uh, to make sure that you mounted uh, your SD card. And I'm not responsible for any damage, damage uh, come comes to your phones or even if the SD card itself is damaged. Okay, so here partition SD card choose partition. You're gonna find EXT size. You can choose 180 megabytes. 256, 512, 1024, and 2048, 4096. Okay, so choose what uh, would you would like. Okay, uh, 512 is good. Okay, and here you have swap size. You can choose zero swap. The swap is increasing the RAMs. Uh, by uh, using your SD card, but uh, it's also connected uh, to the kernel because if you have a kernel, do not uh, do not accept uh, the swap. It won't make the swap. But uh, if you don't have swap uh, on your kernel, so no swap. You have swap on the kernel. It will gonna uh, make it. So I'll go back. You just press uh, a zero zero megabyte swap. And wait about a minute then go back and you can choose reboot system now it's telling me rebooting Here is my ROM Hyperion 8.
and I'm telling you again, uh, I cut the video, but I'm telling you again uh, that you can uh, use uh, any RAM to make it, and you can make it on the uh, on the stock kernel. And I prefer to choose zero swap. Okay, uh, so uh, you uh, I, as I told you, you have to uh, put all your files or uh, all the SD card contents on your uh, computer because it will uh, format uh, the SD card. Then open. Head to the Play Store. You're gonna find all the apps on your SD card. Uh, all the apps on your SD card uh, deleted. Okay. You'll just find uh, the apps on your stock. On uh, the apps which you didn't put it on the SD card. Okay. Like the cal calendar, you know. Or any other apps you put it on. Uh, your phone here then open the play store and wait until it loads then here the play store uh, opened as you can see and uh, type in the search okay link link to SD okay and search here you're gonna find link to SD from from blond AKP NAR AKP NAR here it's the first app in the search okay and choose install press accept okay and wait until it downloads <laughs> and the last, the latest update uh, added uh, lots of features, as you can see. Added a lots of features, so I'm gonna cut the video until it downloads. And here, as you can see, it's installed, so you can go back, press open to open the app, and here, link to SD. As you can see, this app uh, add, adds the feature uh, to link your SD card. First, you're gonna uh, receive this message. So, choose uh, whatever I don't remember. I made it ext3 here. Press OK. Please wait. I have to grant the super SU. Okay. Then restart, uh, restart your device. Press reboot device. Okay. I'm gonna cut the video until uh, it opens. And here's the phone after uh, I reboot. I reboot it. Then head to your app. The link to SD. Okay. And here it is. Choose this app. It's loading and here uh, what's new uh, the last update as I told you okay it has a lot of a lot of features but there is AD uh, below the screen it's very bad okay now uh, you're gonna see here uh, this cup I don't know press on it and choose uh, on internal on internal memory here press on internal you're gonna find every uh, thing that you uh, up there that you installed we're gonna find the Google Play and the maps and super SU the YouTube this is uh, this is things which uh, takes uh, large uh, the larger the largest <coughs> uh, storage and the largest capacity of your internal memory you can also link them uh, let's uh, choose uh, Google Play Store okay press on it head head down back head below and here create link press on create link okay you and link everything 
uh, but uh, I have no lib files so I can't link them and press OK and it will gonna tell you creating link okay application files link and move to SD okay right okay then hit your storage info and you have a very large amount of storage okay you have 24 percent empty 46 megabytes it can hold a lot of apps okay and here uh, the SD card and and you have more internal and also the SD card second partition uh, storage and the system storage and the cache storage uh, so thank you for watching and if you like the video like comment subscribe thank you for watching and the clockwork mod is uh, a download link is under the video and follow uh, and like us on facebook thanks